Back. It is a uh, fantastic Friday indeed. It's even more fantastic when we have Fernando Uribe here. He is the host of Politically Direct. I may have uh, stated that incorrectly before when I said Politically Correct um, via New Jersey NJ, Insider NJ, right? And Fernando, who was here to mix it up, filled in for us at the last minute, did a great job. But now in the one-on-one, Frankie and I want to talk to you um, one thing about the role of Latino voters in this election, where they're going to where they're going to come down on this thing. What are your thoughts on that? Well, John, it's interesting. Uh, there was a very insightful article this week in The Atlantic, and uh, I know that Atlantic tends, tends to sort of be a more conservative type of online publication, but we've seen more and more of this on sort of everywhere in the Internet spectrum. And the one thing that Hispanics and, and or Latinos uh, I think can all agree on in most polls is, A, the presence of Pulverini has improved tremendously with this community. <clears throat> That's first. And number two, I think that a lot of Hispanics, whether it's someone my dad's age or my age or even younger, can at least agree with, you know, a very conservative upbringing that we tend to sort of be surrounded by from, you know, from childhood to adolescence to adulthood is the idea that, you know what, we're about more conservative type of values. We're about being practical. Listen, right now, what the president has going for him is the economy is strong. We're seeing record job growth. We're seeing specifically Hispanic home ownership is on the rise. And it's the highest rate it's ever been in almost 30 years. We're seeing small business growth, John. We're also seeing the idea that, listen, very simply, most Hispanics don't subscribe to what the platform of today's Democratic Party is. And that's identity politics. That's the climate hysteria that we seem to be you know, hearing about and reading about constantly online, sort of being woke, the multicultural gibberish that we're sort of inundated with all the time, yep. encouraging perpetual victimhood. This, so again, this fixation of political correctness, most Hispanics and Latinos don't subscribe to this. Uh, and that's know, what Democrats believe in. No doubt. I was down in Miami um, for the first presidential debate. And we did the show from down there from the big Bitcoin Center in Miami. I was going to a couple of shops and looking for some stuff down there. And I was talking to business owners who are mostly Latinos down there in, in Miami. And um, the sense I got was exactly that. Latinos are hardworking. They're family oriented. They have a lot of conservative values. And I thought, you know, there was going to be a lot more pushback against Trump. But it felt like people who are here legally, um, they support immigration reform. They want to close the borders because they don't think that illegal aliens should get all this favorable treatment when they went through it themselves and they're raising their family here. I hung out with my friend Evelio Medina, who is the uh, chairman of the Brickle, uh, the Brickle um, business, the business Development Com- 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 Center down there. And uh, he's the head of Latinos for Trump. I went to one of the rallies. It was crazy. I mean, there was so many people that were usually supportive of the president. Well, this is the thing that sort of boggles my mind, too, is that, John, listen, Hispanics and Latinos nationally are demonstrating sort of a bigger approval for the president. Listen, within our community, whether it's during the holiday season, during Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner, it's not something that, you know, you want to talk about publicly, but you'll talk about privately. And what's been going on consistently with Hispanics is the idea that, you know what, the economy is strong. There is a more sort of centrist value system that the president is trying to convey. And at the end of the day, that's what's winning over Hispanics, not which gender, what bathrooms people are using, woke, being woke, climate hysteria, all that stuff. You know what? That's not what Hispanics are about. And I think that's why they're gravitating to the president. All right. Thank you, Fernando Uribe. Thank you.